Come on, babe. What up, Cap? day one of post stop and right now I'm heading into goals uh, to get my first drainage so I'm gonna head on in and I'm gonna take y'all along with me so let's go oh I gotta get my pocketbook first oh and I gotta get my booty pillow Got the booty pillow. Hey, women are warriors, right? Stand up. Hello, everyone. Good morning. How are you guys today? And we are here live today with our amazing patient, Miss Glamour Attic. Hi, hey. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, <laughs> Hello, hello to everyone joining. How are you guys today? Hello, hello. And our beautiful patient here, Miss Glamour Attic, is doing her first drainage today. Um, drainage is a very important part of your aftercare, guys. So you want to make sure that you are really consistent with your aftercare just to ensure that you get maximum results. Okay, everyone? So I'm just going to show you a little bit of what's going on. And our beautiful esthetician, Sylvia. And she's just removing all that excess fluid from procedure. And Sylvia, can you just tell everyone who's watching why these massages are so important? It's very, very important because the fluid has to come out. Yes. The first five massage at least, they have to know whoever does liposuction, they have to know it. Post-care surgery is important. Yes, guys. Because if they let dry the fluid inside, they can have fibrosis, high mm -hmm. fat. And those are things you do not want, guys. So just to ensure that you guys have the best maximum results, you want to make sure that you are being consistent with your aftercare, whether it's wearing your massage, your booty pillow, or wearing your fat. Yes. Hi. Good morning. We have this a special guest, Maddie. I just can't see you. <laughs> I see that wave. Everyone loves yes. Maddie. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, wow. And so I know he's removing it. all that excess fluid. All right, guys. Bye-bye, Maddie. Kiss Cake says she looks great. Oh, thank they are you. loving you. Thank They're you. loving you. So you can get your procedure done as long as we have the open availability for you. We can try to get that in for you as soon as possible, as long as the payment is made in full up. Hello, Chris Mary. Hey. Yes, she is. And our amazing coordinators are all here today from seven o'clock. Come see them, guys. Come see them. They're all amazing. Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. Yeah. Can I make payments via phone? Absolutely. We just need credit card authorization, okay? 
to make any payment from the phone that she start wearing Faha today. Absolutely. So she is going to receive her first Faha today after her drainage massage, okay? Hey Glam Doll, so today is um, day two of post-op and I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, I got on the same thing I had on from yesterday, but you know, I'm just here to get my second drainage done and I got my Faja on, so I wanna give you all a chance to see what, um, what that is looking like. So I'm gonna undress for you all to see my Faja. And I'm not feeling any like, you know, excruciating pain or anything like that. I'm just very sore. Like, you know, like as if I went to the gym and I had a workout. So this is the Faja that they have me in. And I'll pull this down. Ooh, I'm just sore, okay? But here's my Faja. These are the results. And this, this is supposed to be here. This is supposed to be like this. This tells you what size and the name of the Faja is that you're wearing. So that's supposed to be on the outside. But this is what it's looking like. I'm on day two of post-op. I had the surgery done on Wednesday. And today is Friday. Go back. And the white padding that you're seeing is the pads from the drains, okay? And when I say drains, it's no um tube drain is natural drains okay but this is the faha so i'm gonna finish getting undressed and i'll come back on camera once you know they get into the motion of doing everything so let me get my massage i'm still a little sore but i'm sure this should go okay i'm just gonna lay here and relax because this is the important part So, okay, let me pull it together. As you saw, this was uh, day two of my post-op. I came in to get my second massage. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, that's because I had to maneuver my way to get inside this daggone car. I kid you not. And I am using my um, pillow. Let me see. Can you see it right there? Notice how forgive that notice how I have it underneath my thighs my butt is free I'm not sitting on on the car seat see that right there that's my butt I'm not sitting on the car seat this is underneath my thighs keeping my butt uh, free from sitting on so it's extremely uncomfortable I I don't know how the other girls was doing it honestly speaking I prefer just to lay down flat on my stomach at this point but the hub's like, we have to at least, you know, give it a try. On the better on the better side of things is I drained really, really well, okay? The front of me started draining with just a little bit of, of blood in it. Not much. It was predominantly coming out clear. So, that part is good. 
the back however and uh i didn't see it but the hubs was recording so maybe you got a chance to see it if i include it the hubs was recording so the back i felt a lot come out a lot of fluid came out so she said tomorrow i come one more time tomorrow you know to drain out one more time and then uh monday they're gonna start with the uh the uh oof i'm at a loss for words the other machine which is going to then tighten my skin so i just wanted to quickly come on here and share that with y'all he brought me back some pizza thank you bro. you got the soda thank you because they said i need to start eating normally you know you gotta feed you can't not have an appetite during this you gotta eat no matter how sore you is but speaking of eating i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this um pizza that i got going thank you babe you're welcome babe. see it's on my thighs mm -hmm. oh i put my seatbelt on i'm gonna go ahead put my seatbelt on and enjoy this pizza and i'll see you all in another video again shortly i'll probably come back on monday when i'm doing the machines because y'all already got a chance to see the drainage so i'll see y'all then later dolls moving forward like i said the bbl don't just end there you're gonna start seeing me i'm gonna share with you me being in the gym how to maintain the investment that's being taken place out for something like this um i'm already well not i'm but we already have transitioned as far as vegan food and I will be sharing, you know, some meals and stuff along the way. Not to necessarily try to convert any of you to say, hey, vegan is the only way to go. No, that's not, you know, that's not what I'm here to do. But I'm here just to share with you some healthier eating options that you can incorporate into your day-to-day -day eating routine that you got going already. You know, options, right? That is correct. Yeah, options. Yeah.